it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but as I told you, I have in two months my dance competition in Paris, which is my full-time job as a dancer. Guitar is my hobby. But uh, it was, uh, it's now about three in the morning and I can't sleep and I thought what better opportunity after I've done my rehearsals as well just to do a small video on a nice flamenca rumba pattern. Now I've done this in my old camera many, many years ago along with five, six or maybe five, six more. I'll put a link in the description and the info cards here so you can find it. Uh, where I teach different ways of playing flamenco rumba, but this one is one of the most exciting ones. And I played it between my index and my middle finger. So the middle finger usually is heavier. You can go faster with the small one, but uh, this one gives a little bit more accent. I will show it with the index in this lesson, and you can also apply the same techniques with the middle badass finger. Okay, now the chords were simple. E minor, A minor 7, D minor 7, then quickly switch back to the A minor 7, D minor 7, finish to an E. You can use any progression if you like it, like the most typical one is an A minor, G7, F, E. triplet which that's a nice way of finishing it as well I'll talk about it a little bit later on in the video so how you can do that too now to start the lesson we want to mute the strings with the left hand so we have a dead sound on the right side be careful don't push too much so you don't get note don't get any music out of it just the dead sound of the strings and put your thumb over your index like so then you want to twist your wrist to use your index to strum down. Now you can strum the tremble in the middle, in the bass. I suggest the tremble for beginning, it's easier. Strum down, then keep your hand where it is and open strumming up with your thumb and then another up with your index. So it's down, up, up. One, two, three. 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 Well, you're 90% there. What's left is putting a one, two hit. That happens only with your index by keeping this whole right hand and wrist still, but the index moves from the joint of the first joint that connects with your whole hand down, up. So a whole pattern will be two times of a three tri of a triplet pattern and one time of a two hit pattern using the index. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Now, basically, this is it. I taught it to you. You can just practice with the chords. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And if you want to go for a roll ending, one, two, three, 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 one, instead of going the one, two as well. Now the trick to going faster is just like anything else. You want to play it slow and correctly, and then your body will get used to it, and it will tell you when it's ready to go faster. Don't try to go faster because from the get-go, because you will do mistakes, you won't hit full the strings, you might confuse the chord changes, and that's just gonna mess you up. My best advice, I gave it before, put your favorite series for 20 minutes, 45 minutes, mute your strings and just go one, two, three, one, two, three. You don't even have to count out loud, just watch your series, enjoy them, and keep on doing this. Your body will tell you when it's ready to go faster, then try to act the pattern. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. If you're doing it so fast that you cannot pronounce it, you cannot say it, you've reached a very, very good speed and you can use that to any flamenco rumba songs, especially from the Gypsy Kings, Gypsy Kings that we love so much. So that's it, guys. I hope I find some more time to make small videos like this. I hope you like it. Make sure you comment and rate and put a nice 
like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.